Yeah, so we're in New Zealand. Fraser and I came here after the world champs, which were in Australia, and we took advantage of being over in this hemisphere. I had reached out to some of my friends that live over here, and they suggested doing the old ghost road. It turns out it's this amazing point-to-point -point trail that took many years to build, and it was really just out of pure passion of the people surrounding the trail that had it built. And it's an incredible work of art. Like the entire thing is benched. It goes through very remote places. They, they had helicopters fly in with the tools and, and everything to build this trail. They dropped us at another hut and we started Whoa. the journey back to the, the rough and tumble lodge at the end of the trail. So we're gonna climb up and out of here, huh? Yep, we are. Cool. Don't go to the right or the left. And we're just ex experiencing it all. Picnic table. Okay. And I think we're making pretty good time. And I've seen that we've, you know, we've gone over most of the climbing. And it's like 17k of flat. Cool. I see on the on that, you know, on the elevation profile of the trail. And so, okay, we're great. Like we can bang out that we can go fast on that 17k and make it in time for, you know, before the sun sets to the rough and tumble lodge. We stop and we have some lunch, then we set out on what's called the suicide slips, which is like a little bit, hmm, like, what's the, what's the deal with this? We get on the suicide slips and it turns out it's literally just benched into this sheer cliff. You know, they have dynamited out wow. this rock and and created like this bench trail. No guardrail there. And then the other side of it, it's like probably, I don't know, two feet wide, gravel, slippery. And then the other side, no fence, nothing, just falls off like a hundred feet down um, into a gorge. I think this deserves a little, this little thing, yep. <laughs> That's crazy. This is so sketchy. I mean, one front wheel slip and you're Whoa. like, you're done. And yeah. so I was like, okay, Fraser, we, I was like a little bit scared. I was like, we're walking this, you know, this is, this is just not worth it. So then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, we have 17 K of walking. That's going to take us forever. I, are we going to get back before dark? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, it's a really sketchy part of the trail when they actually put like a little fence or a wire in. Because then you know it's really a sheer drop off. Wow. You get your wheels stuck out here. Caution, don't ride straight off this. Yeah. So this is crazy. And, you know, as we got through the suicide slips, we got more and more comfortable so with like the width of the trail and how it dropped off. And so we were riding a little bit more sections, but man, yeah. I was relieved when we got off that section and, and we got to the rough and tumble lot. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, okay, we made it. So it was, it was an incredible adventure. It was, I would suggest it to anybody. I think it should go on anybody's bucket list. Oh God. Oh God. Whoa. Whoa. Heli 
Thank you, Ghost Road. Thank you, Old Ghost Road. Here's a bit of a celebration anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah congratulations. We just got engaged. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's that's nice one. <laughs> See if you're still talking to each other by the I end know. of the day. <laughs> this is the ultimate test, man. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>